Hey, what's up guys? Min City here back in with another video and today we are taking a look at Headland. Now what is Headland? This is an action adventure game available on the App Store. The link to the game will be in the description down below for iOS as well as uh, Android if it's available for Android. Now without further ado, let's get right into it. Now first and foremost, this game does something that I haven't really seen done before and I think other developers should adopt this. So this game is free to download. Now, uh, when you first click on the game and it opens up, it takes you to a screen that says, hey, we've poured years of work into this game to make this a reality. We just want to be upfront and honest with you with what this game has. And so it's, this is a free to download game. And it says, uh, this game is free to download and it has 45 minutes of gameplay. And then once you hit that 45 minute point, uh, you will have an option to buy the rest of the game, which is five plus hours of gameplay after that. And so they're like, we hope you enjoy it. And I think this is super, super kudos to the developers. I think this is super upfront and honest, and I do enjoy this, especially in the mobile gaming space. You don't see that a lot. And I, it just lets uh, customers or potential customers and players know exactly what is on hand and what is available to them and they can make their decision accordingly. I think that's really cool, so big ups to them. Now the looks and sound design of this game. Uh, the sound design is impeccable. I am blown away by the sound design. All biases aside, um, the sound design is immaculate. Now this has like a lot of cool like Disney, um, Disney-ish soundtracks, even some soundtracks that kind of harken towards Star Wars. Uh, I can see a lot of different inspirations, but they're very, uh, just like that Pixar quality. I don't know how to describe it. Just uh, sound design that you'd find in Disney movies, Pixar movies, uh, some Star Wars movies. I just really love the sound design and the music of this game. There's always like little birds chirping in the background, rain noises. Like there's just so many layers of noises and stuff. Sometimes the, the, the sound bites aren't the highest of quality, but you can tell they put a lot of effort into layering different noises and making sure that there's as much detail as possible sonically. And the music is just so varied, like I've said, and it's just so good. Now the looks of the game, this is a pretty looking game. It's very cute, it's very cutesy. Now when you zoom in and like look at uh, characters, like when they zoom in and characters are talking, uh, the character models are pretty rough around the edges. They're not, I don't know if this is on purpose or not, but the game can look rough when you zoom in, but from a gameplay perspective, it's really good looking. It's very cute. It's very adorable, very colorful, um, really has a personality all of its own. Now let's get into the gameplay. Like I said, this is an action adventure game and kind of like a Zelda format, I would say. So it's kind of an over the top view. And so you move your finger around on the screen. You just need to use one finger to move your character around. Now your character, when you tap, your character will attack. And so you can destroy uh, objects in your way that are blocking you from certain areas in the map and stuff. Uh, you, can, you can attack enemies. Enemies will drop imagination, I think it's what it's called. They're little uh, rainbow orbs. Now that brings me to the storyline of this game. Basically, uh, a robot starts talking to you. You're a kid in his room, and it's like, oh, man, you need to hop in this portal. You hop in the portal. It takes you to this, like, imaginary land. And the robot has, uh, like, this little device that allows the robot to imagine anything it wants. So it can just change enemies into, like, a snowman, and which you guys will see in the gameplay before you when he does that. And uh, he can do things uh, in, in, like, uh, with his imagination, the robot can. Now... Uh, an enemy steals, uh, breaks apart that that a device that he has into different stones, I should say, and uh, it steals it. And so you have to get those stones back. And so the boy has to imagine things now, since he's uh, innately a human, he can imagine things, and it's his job to save this world, which is Headland. And so that's what you do. So you collect these orbs, you can imagine bridges, you can use your imagination to make things and help you traverse through the environment. And uh, there's mechanics that slowly layer on. There's mushrooms that you use to bounce up and top and kind of platform in a way. It's just a really, this just reminds me of like old, like Nintendo 64 3D games where it's just an adventure. It makes you feel like a kid again. I'm surprised at how much I really do enjoy this game. I highly suggest you guys at least try it out for its 45 minute trial. That's very, very generous to know what you guys would like. And, or if you guys would uh, end up liking it and if it's worth your time. Kudos to developers. I really do like this game. 
definitely check it out. Please leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content because that's all I make on this YouTube channel. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Uh, definitely, uh, it definitely helps me out. Uh, please provide feedback in the comment section down below. And uh, I love you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe. Happy holidays and take it easy.